Hi friends, welcome again to Extreme Excel Solutions YouTube channel. In this video, we'll play with uh, shapes in Excel. Uh, you might have uh, inserted few shapes from here. So there are a lot of uh, uh, basic shapes, arrows, or you might be using these shapes for flowcharts and all. So this uh, demo is more of a prototype which you can use in uh, any of your projects to make it easy to insert the shapes and plotting the uh, flowcharts and all things. So what I have done here is uh, suppose this is my uh, plotting area where I need to plot something. So I have some keywords allocated to every insertion and deletion. So for example if I just want to insert a process uh, block so I can just write this P, uh, this keyword proc and it will insert uh, that shape over there now let's say I want to c connect it through a line I just need to write L and it will plot a line over there and I can further use it to connect to some other block let's say I want to feed this block to an if block so I can just put write if there and I can place that if block over there uh, again I have few more shapes here like an alternate block alternate process block and suppose I want to feed an output of this if block to the input of this so I would require a line so this line is in this shape right now I can connect it from here like this and then I can uh, make the manual shift like this okay so this way uh, I can easily uh, plot the shape instead of going over there and inserting and choosing these shapes over and again there are a lot of shapes available over here for example we have a term uh, termination block also like this which can easily be inserted we have uh, shapes like circles if we need we have stars we have whatever shape you uh, prefer you can add those thing and uh, things in your vba code and it will insert the shapes like that and you also have provision to add uh, uh, lines which which have arrows as well so like this so for connectivity you can use these blocks also these lines also so uh, and one more good thing about this thing is let's say you want to delete few shapes you just need to select that region and delete it and it will delete all the shapes which you have specified in that region you can see that if I highlight this thing you can see PROC is written over here so it will delete all the shapes which were in this region uh, you might have moved those shapes from here to here but uh, it will delete uh, that shape if you remove the text like this and if you remove everything by hitting Control A and delete it will remove all the content as well as the shapes so this is the beauty of this uh, uh, demo I mean uh, just an example you can further extend it to use it in any way uh, now uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is let's say you you want something uh, in terms of uh, a bigger block so for example you want a circle of a smaller size or a bigger size so there is also a provision to add the size here so like you just need to uh, separate that thing with a comma and put uh, the size here it will create the circle of that uh, size if you do not uh, specify the size it will create circle of uh, uh, default size which is 50 though you can uh, change it like this you can also plot shapes of smaller size also like 10 so it will plot the shape of that size only now if I take you to the VBA part of it I have written everything in sheet change event you can see here as the content of my sheet changes it basically moves to this portion this upper portion is just for deletion for your reference I'll be posting uh, this entire sheet uh, on git you can download it from there and you can refer the entire code I'm just uh, quickly walking you through uh, what I've written over here uh, so these are the basic uh, uh, I mean these are the most important things that we have for insertion so I have added few cases I have specified the keywords which I'll be typing over there in the cells so if that uh, text uh, is circle if you type circle it will be calling a module named add shape and it will insert that in this reference whatever cell you select and the shapes uh, uh, type would be like this and the size which I am specifying over there so this module is being used for insertion of all the shapes you can see here I just specified here uh, what type of shape I want to insert based on the uh, value that you write here in that in that cell 
so if i take you to the uh, function or the uh, uh, where where we are inserting the shapes so it simply goes to the target and clears the content uh, or change the background color of it and then inserts a shape here you can see here based on the type that you have specified over here and it automatically manages the coordinates where it want to plot it so size is also there you can pass on the size here and it will uh, create the uh, object of that size how will you have provision to change the size after insertion also and similarly for line also we have a function which is being called uh, over here and this uh, this takes care of the size of that line and whether that line should have arrow or not so this is all and uh, there is one more module which helps us in deleting all the shapes so it is being called in between when you delete the contents of cell like this it takes care of all the content which are there in that cell and deletes the shape uh, which were uh, being uh, generated through the content written in those cells so this is it uh, if you need further clarification free, feel free to uh, write to me at excel.microk at gmail.com or um, or you can simply download our code from a uh, github I'll, I'll post the link here in the comment section also and uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for uh, more uh, such wonderful videos and do share your feedback also thank you thank you for watching